it is time. What is up, everybody? It's the Game Dex here. We are back again with another episode of our BDSP playthrough. Welcome back to the episode. Um, it is time to go to Sunny Shore and get our last badge. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm extra hype about it because I want to beat the game today. Um, <laughs> I want to get into that post game, that post game content. So th that is our goal. Um, I, I know this episode, the goal starts with getting to Sunny Shore, but hey, hey, we're working our way there. Um, in the last episode, we caught our boy Palkia, we caught our boy Palkia, and we defeated Team Galactic for the final, one grass, one blade of grass, for the final time. Yo, hi, Shellos. Hi, Shellos. How you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm hype. I'm incredibly ready and excited for this um it is now 11 like 12 days since the game came out um so as soon as i started recording it's been like 12 days since the game came out and i'm just ready to beat it um typically i have like i i say this i've said this multiple times during the series typically I would have the game beaten like within a week sometimes even within a th like three days just because i'd play it i play it non-stop play it and have hours and hours and hours and hours into the game like any set of free time into the game um so for us not to completely beat it for me just feels incredibly weird i think the same thing happened with sword and shield only difference with sword and shield is i stopped posting it um the demotivation a little bit and um i don't know i, I recorded everything I, I just i guess i got demotivated in posting and that's not happening now we're daily episodes i've made it a goal i set it down and it can't stop it can't stop um, so that's it's what we're it's what we're going for um i i don't care I think Sword and Shield got to episode about, like, 20-ish or so. Um, I don't remember exactly. Full Restore, let's go. I don't remember exactly. I just remember it, like, dying down. Just because I lost, I lost, I guess, the motivation for it. But we've turned the page. This is no more. We're going to keep up the content. Um, I'm not completely sure. I gotta make sure I can't see my mic. Audio. Uh, I'm not completely sure um, exactly how the content's gonna go post uh, this series. Uh, this series, I started stated from the beginning, would be daily, and there was no turning back from that. Um, now, this could already be, like I said, this could already be started. Um, I want to do a Nuzlocke of the game. And I also have an idea, um, which I'm hoping by the time this comes out, I already have it recorded. Um, I want to do a little, a little series where I use either solo mons or mons that you suggest for me to use, or maybe even like a whole line. Like, say I get to use the Caterpie line. I can use like Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree on my team and I'll try to beat the game with all three of them. Kind of like a little like side thing. Um, now, that would most likely either be nine episodes. Um, one for each badge. Like one leading up to each badge. And then one for the Elite Four slash Championship. Or it would just be one episode. And I don't even know what I just picked up. Oops. I've been... <laughs> Oh, I pick them and then I plant them immediately. I don't know what I just planted. Qualot is definitely one. Uh, I saw the Aguav berry. Uh, Aguav, you were a another one. Uh, where's my Lepa berry? We're gonna plant a Lepa berry. Because we don't have much Lepa Berries. 
And Lepa Berries are kind of clutch. And I'll plant a Citrus Berry. Why not? Um, yeah, I, although I don't necessarily know how that series would play out. Oh, I thought I picked up an item. Um, I do want to do that. I have a idea for a first mon. And I don't want to say it in case it hasn't come out yet. Um, I don't know. It's a mon that I don't typically think about as a Pokemon. And... I'm sure most of you probably don't even think about it either. And I'm thinking about just listing it as like the most forgettable mon of Generation 4 of Diamond and Pearl or something like that along the lines. And using that, it's not just one Pokemon, it would be a, it's a two-stager. That's giving you any ideas on what it could be. And I just want to do it for that and maybe even for other Pokemon. Uh, Weezing, we could do Weezing. Yo ho ho! What is this? What is this? Acrobatics. I don't think I want it now. If we do want to set up. We got heart scales. We got plenty of heart scales. So it's not a big concern. Um, but I want to do it for other Pokemon. Uh, Weezing. Weezing is for sure. Weezing's my. Weezing's my mon. It's like the best. It's the bestest Pokemon. Like, fight with me. Um, Bidoof. You can try to fight with me, but you don't compare to my boy Weezing. Coughing Weezing. Yo, that would be kind of cool. Because Weezing actually gets quite a bit of coverage in its special moves. And there's a hidden item there for sure. Weezing gets quite a bit of coverage, so it would like work perfectly. I could teach one Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, Psychic, the other Dazzling, Sludge Bomb, uh, Toxic. Just get it like all, all around. Flamethrower. Uh, pain split, protect, Ultra Ball. I'm not gonna teach it Ultra Ball, but you get the point. Um, and then any mons that you guys like. Uh, now it would nest. It would 100%. Yeah, thanks. It would 100% get more difficult in situations where it's only like a single stage mon. But hey, hey, that that's the whole point of the challenge. Um, okay, we got two water boys here. And Magnazone is already level 52. JK. I'm not gonna fight them together. Got it, perfect. Exactly what I intended to do was fight them separate. Mark? And your man tyke? I wanted to fight you separate. Uh, Gastrodon. Gastrodon can handle this one. Um, perfect, because Roserade wasn't fighting a Mantike as weak as it is. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just drop the rocks. Bop, 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 bop. Yo, you actually ate it. Like a champ. Um, what level? They're 43, right? 43 compared to my, compared to my 51. Uh, these large level, level gaps get significantly less powerful. The further you get into the game, yo, it's a crit, let's go! Um, so yeah, it does make sense these Pokemon are living a little bit better. It's still a little bit of a shame that we're this overleveled, but hey, 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 life is life. This game is fine. Um, Roserade, I, 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 was, I wanted you to be in these battles, so here you go. Here you go. Look, look, look at my Pokemon. It's really cool. Um, I just, I, I have so much hype for BDSP still, even being uh, a whole, a whole game through it. Um, the underground, there's still, in my opinion, so much more to do. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to start convincing some friends to do some, like, duo streams, uh, specifically in the underground. Because uh, there's been, I'm sure there's been a couple streams by now uh, of me actually doing the diglet encounters with friends like hunting all the diglets and it's so much faster than just regular online mode because on online mode i feel like i'm carrying the diglet searches and like the regular online people are just mining randomly like no significant reason um, i don't want to fall off i don't want to do that so it's, it's, it's way better actually having people to do it with. And if people stream too, 
and we can do some shiny hunt races. Uh, Pokey Radar. I I don't have access to the Pokey Radar yet because obviously we're in this. I there's very likely I could be streaming Pokey Radar by now, but in our actual life point in time, I don't have access to it. Uh, Pokey Radar is going to be so much fun. Um, that's like the difference between Underground and Pokey Raider. Pokey Raider raises the uh, things exponentially. But the other thing is, is you can choose one Mon to hunt for. Whereas Underground, I kind of go for whatever's in the room I'm hunting in. So, A, there always leads the chance to being duplicates if I'm hunting in a room that has multiple Pokemon. Plus, plus I don't, I don't get to like. There's no choice. There's no... It's harder to do a layout thing, which I'm going to be working on post-main post, post main game. Uh, it's way harder to do a layout when there's multiple mons I could be searching for. I'll probably just do, like, the top, like, ones that I'd want um, for Underground. But when we start when we start radar chaining, it's, it's over. It's over. We're going to be spending whole streams chaining and then not stopping until we get a shiny uh, that might not that might not be true but don't be surprised if there starts to be more and more shiny hunting shiny reaction videos on the channel uh compared to what happened during the sword and shield era mostly because i'm actually posting content and trying to stay consistent but also because i am gonna have like a lot of fun just shiny hunting um, it's, I'm just ready. I, with the help of a friend, I do have a Magikarp, not Magikarp, a Ditto from another region. So Masuda Method is fully on the table, especially once we get the Shiny Charm. That's on the table. Masuda Method, Underground Method, Radar Chaining, and even just full-on soft resets of like the Legendaries. Uh, it won't happen on this Pearl copy because I do want to post videos of us encountering like legends like doing the Azel, Fuxi, and Miss Spirit all in one episode um, maybe like all the Reggies in one episode uh, the only difference then is I don't it depends on how much I record before the series uh, like before I run out of episodes to post because if I can actually mine enough to have already gotten the legends by the time then the daily episodes will even continue through then but if i don't have enough mining and i don't get the legendaries then we're in a situation where hey it's just when i when i mine some and i get the legendaries um but it the episodes will probably be more uh based based around like a select few mods yo here's the finion we already encountered one. I was about to say, this is one of the Pokemons that make it a little difficult to finish the Pokedex. It and its evolution. The regional decks, I should say. Um, so that's why battling all the trainers. Failing your math test in the Ghost Gym is such an important thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream. It all depends on like how long, what time. Like If I finish the game today... Maybe I stream finishing this regional decks, which we're close. Um, it's 150. Uh, we got Torterra, Empoleon, um, Alakazam, Graveler, Rampardos, Machamp, uh, Vespa Queen. Uh, that's Elite Four. Um, we're getting close. Wish Cash, Elite Four. Uh, Rapidash, I think Elite Four. Uh, Chance, or Blissey, I'm not completely sure. Clefable, also not completely sure. Whatever these mods are. Snorlax. Hippowdon is Elite Four. Uh, Octillery is the next gym. Luminion is a special one. I don't know who these four are. Mantine, I feel like, is on one of these routes. Uh, and whatever mods these are. Oh, Azelf, Yuxi, and Mistbeard are three of these. That's for sure. Have we encountered the Gibble line? 
We haven't encountered the Gibble line. That's wild. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, that's not the most difficult. Uh, I can catch a Gibble. And I can evolve it myself. But that's, that's pretty weird. Pretty wild to think about. No Gibbles. No Gibbles, no Gabites. Garchomp is in the championship room. But we should be pretty close. I... It depends on when I finish streaming up to the champion. If that gets even finished today. If that gets finished today, it might not. Um, and when I stream. It's all, it's all that. You guys will already know because this is so far recorded in advance. But hey. But hey, at least that meant daily episodes continued. Or good for for this whole series um okay plus i could I, I couldn't imagine uh waiting uh this long to actually beat the game like um, i'm not sure what episode this is my guess is late 20s early 30s so waiting a whole month to beat the game wild especially when i'm trying to get so much so much of my like hype and desires for this game out like trying to do a whole bunch of them before legends comes out because legends legends could very easily take over the channel or it could be really difficult for the channel i i still i'm like trying to wrap my head around the type of series i know there's going to be story involved but i also know there's a ton of grinding involved which is just, how do I do that? How do I post a video on that? I mean, more editing. More editing, that's for sure. Or do we just stream it? Um, I, I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head like, hey, how do we do this? Uh, will BDSP still be, hey, it's a crit, let's go. Will BDSP still be something part of our channel um, while the whole thing's happening? Like, will we continue the two games together? Um... How much does, how much effort does one game need, and how much time and effort will BDSP get on the back burner? Uh, Shiny hunting is that available in Legends? Because I don't know if it's been confirmed or not. I don't think it's been confirmed yet. So there's just so much, there, there's just so much going on in my head, and I, I haven't even like fully thought process written down. Uh, everything for BDSP now, so yo, it's a crit let's go, Drapion um, it's it's a thing it's a thing yo, look at our team look at our team, they make me so happy uh all of our Pokemon like, cannot cannot compare um I don't know, there's just something about having using Pokemon from their respective generation in the game that just adds some extra feeling. I, I don't know what to call it, uh, how to describe it really, but it just makes me feel good. Especially when they're like top tier mons like Drapion, Gastrodon, Mamoswine, Infernape, Roserade, and Magnezone. They're all great Pokemon. Um, and even if they weren't, I feel like I'd still be hyped. Maybe. Maybe not like Volbeat and Illumuse. Um, I might not be hyped if they were on my team. Uh, but first, first playthrough, having that solid team. Um, especially like in new games. I'm still feeling it in this game, but especially in new games when you use mons only from the, like all only new mons. It feels so good. It feels so good. Um, I had that feeling for sure, during Sword and Shield. I had such a great team. Clobopus. Uh, the only Pokemon that I felt f that fell flat on my team, and I'm going to say this because I never posted the episodes for Sword and Shield, and I don't know if they'll ever get posted, and what was the point of that? Um, was uh, Flapple. Like, Flapple was a good mon. Like, I liked its design. I liked its design and all, but it's it's defense. It needed like one turn to set up and then it was good. 
but its defense didn't allow it to set up. Yo. This Pikachu's about to get bodied. Like, this little girl, she better run, because she's still an electric type, and my Earthquake's about to go boom, boom, boom. Gone. Let's go. Goodbye, Pikachu. Do you have a male Pikachu, too? It's a crit! Oh, the power of friendship is gonna make the Elite Four too easy. Oh, that's... that's... Uh, doesn't make me too excited for that. No, you have another female Pikachu. Okay. I thought they would show off, like, both of the gender differences between the tail. The straight-tailed and then the heart-tailed Pikachu. Hey, it's... it's fine, trainer, with your Pikachu. With your frail defensive Pikachu this late in the game. What are you doing? What are you doing? Pikachu! Look at her. She's mad. Mad. Don't become a real Pikachu. Your father's gonna use you in fights. Do not become a real Pikachu. Okay. Weird. Odd. But weird. Do you give me... Let's see. Is it a Remoraid? It's a Magikarp. Do I have a good rod? Am I using... Is my good rod selected, or do I just have the old rod? Because if I just have the old rod, then that's why I'm only going to get Magikarp. Uh, I'm going to give it a couple, a couple attempts. Let's give it a couple attempts. Carbos. Fling. Rare Bone. Uh, old Rod is selected. Yes. Of course I want to replace the Old Rod. Let's go. Let's see. Remoraid, first attempt. Nothing. Not even a nibble! Come on. Remoraid, second attempt. Landed a Pokemon. Here it is. How, how rare is Remoraid on this route? Am I gonna just, like, sit here fishing and fishing and fishing and fishing? Okay, we'll give it one more. One more good fishing rod. Remoraid. Okay. You know what? You know what, maybe? Maybe Remoraid's uh, not a fishing encounter. Maybe Remoraid just surfs about and just goes, hey. Sup, I'm a Remoraid. I just I, I I see I see a side quest and I go, hey, what could it be? Okay, we'll give this one two attempts too. Let's see. Remoraid. That's 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 not a Remoraid. That's not a Remoraid. Okay, one more. One more attempt at it. Big money, no... Big money, no artillery. Big money, no artillery. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, this water animation. Woo! Woo! Ah! Ha! 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 Oh, that's awful. Okay, well... I give up. Uh, we were we had a chance. We had a chance to get a Remoraid and maybe something great and awesome, but it's it's too late. Too late. Remoraid, you soiled it. Why why are there all these patches with no items? Kind of rude if you ask me. Okay, fun. I I I didn't I I, that, I didn't want to encounter a Remoraid. It's perfectly okay with me. It takes both brains and bronze when you're out at sea. Hey, it's not an easy job. The sailor's life is not for me. No, I'm a I'm a type of trainer that chooses all Pokemon, Luther. You might have a Feebas. Yo, yo, did you actually spend all that time looking for that Feebas? Because if so, 
Good on you. Good on you. Let's just earthquake you. Goodbye, Feebass. You didn't stand a chance. It's a crit! I'm telling you, this anime power is going to just make the Elite Four a breeze. Machoke. See, I knew. I knew the Machamp. Cho ch 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 chop line was gonna come. We'll just Ice Fang. Get the nice KO. Not get a KO, but he's gonna just throw the match. He could have, like, close combated me, uh, focus punched me, whatever move he has, and just knocked me out. Not focus punch, but you get the point. Just a fighting move. Fighting move would have done something. Yo, Magnus on level 53. Gastrodon. Okay. Okay. I respect it. Well, Ice Fang. Water Pulse. Come on. Hit me. Yeah, between... Between... Between Machoke and Gastrodon, you would have knocked me out. And you're doing the recover. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. That's an ugly move. Ice Fang, Flinch, or Crit, because anime power. Good job. Good job, Mammo. Good job, Mammo. If I keep petting it, it's gonna keep up with the anime power, so... Glub, glub, glub. Why not at this point? <laughs> their, their maximum friendship powers have already activated and what is there there's a grass patch there i could have surfed to this i could have surfed to this i don't care i don't care it's not worth it sunny shore gym leaders has been bored lately i hear apparently there's been a lack of worthwhile challengers what about goose what about goose if i had to describe sunny shore gym in a word it would be shockingly wink wink electric whoops that's two words well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here because if you've played the game, you know you know something happens as soon as we leave this building. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see playthroughs of this game with solo mods, uh, comment your suggestions down below. I will take them. Trust me. Trust me. I will listen. I'll open my ears. I'll open my eyes. And I will read them. And I will take them. But thank you guys. Until next time, everyone. Peace.